Hi everybody, it's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas here and I'm going to be doing an acrylic swipe with some balloon kiss flowers. And I'm using a new pouring medium today and, um, and I'm also going to be using cell, cell activator with the uh, golden leveling gel. My paints I'm putting down here are, first of all, that blue was a Blick Metallic Teal with Golden Iridescent Silver. This next color is the Master's Touch Fluorescent Yellow. And I do have my base coat down is uh, Blick White with just a tablespoon of, the, of um, Vallejo Pearl Medium. This red color that I did show you the consistency with is um, Golden Iridescent Copper and Liquitex Basics Quinacridone Magenta Mixed. Now this color I'm laying down is like a copper color. This is actually Golden Green Gold and Golden Iridescent Copper. Now the blue color is Liquitex Basics Ultra Marine Blue and Golden Iridescent Silver. I will have all of these listed in the description. My last color here is Amsterdam Reflex Rose. Very, very pretty color. I am going to be doing a swipe. So now I'm just filling in here with just color randomly, just where there were some bare spots. My cell activator today is going to be Amsterdam's Payne's Gray and Prussian Blue, a 50-50 mix. And there I'm showing it to you. And I did mix that three parts of Golden Clear Leveling Gel to one part of that paint combination. Here I'm just using a little plastic card to do my swipe, dipping it in my cell activator. No silicone is used today. Again, I will list all my colors, all my pouring mediums. And by the way, since I have a few minutes here, I'll talk about my pouring medium I used today. It is different. It is, um, let's see if I can find it here. Three parts Floetrol, three parts Minwax Polycrylic. And then I did a, a, um, a, uh, glue-all water mixture where it was three parts of Elmer's glue-all, one part water and then I took two parts of that and I will list all this in the description. So it was the uh, Floetrol polycrylic and the water uh, glue mixture and I mixed that all together and that's my pouring medium and I put two parts of the pouring medium to one part paint. So my paint was a little bit on the thicker side today. That's the way I wanted it. You want to have your paint a little bit thicker so you can do the balloon kiss flowers. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, sorry about that. Here I'm just finishing up doing my swipe. And I take the extra paint I have and I just dab it on the edges there. I will finish my edges after the painting is dry. Here I'm just taking a little plastic card that I have and I was just drawing it through the paints. Now a quick torch. Bring up some of these cells and you can see them pretty well here. Just taking my finger and running it around the edge there. Taking that little plastic card, just adding a few lines there. I guess I'm trying to see what paint is underneath at this point. What paint I can bring up with those, those balloon kiss flowers I'm going to be doing. Now I'm trying to do a little bit of tipping here. My paint moves a little bit, it moves slow. 
but I just want to draw out some of those little cells there. And you can see I have some little clusters of cells that are that are going to play a big role in this painting when it's all finished. Another quick torch. I am giving it a little bit of time here just to see what's going to come up. <clears throat> okay, and here I am just dipping. There, that's cotton balls wrapped in some saran wrap. And I'm just dipping them to give, give the, some little flowers here. And then I remembered that I did want to kind of wreck this first. So I'm just taking my skewer and running it through just to give it some added accent. And then I'm continuing to use the little cotton ball there to make little flowers. And this is where I decide I'm going to go to my water balloon. And when I use my finger, I just draw it out kind of like a stem. And you can see these flowers are a little bit bigger than the flowers I was doing with the uh, cotton ball. See all those pretty colors coming up from underneath here? I am pretty happy with that cell activator color, the combination of the Payne's Gray and the Prussian Blue from Amsterdam. Very, very nice dark color there. <clears throat> Here I wanted to try and bring up a little bit of pink with that flower, but I was not successful. Tried a couple of times, but it was just a no-go on that. So what I did is, and what you can do is dip in a different area and then bring that paint over and dip over what you've already dipped. See if you can add to it. So I'm back to the small flowers again and back now to the water balloon. I was trying to be mindful of where the cells were located, and if they were little clusters of cells that looked pretty, I tried to not dip right over those, but close to them. All of this will come out when I take you down for the close-up. So basically, you do want your paint to be a little bit on the thicker side, not thin like the Dutch pour at all. Just so it will hold those um, balloon kiss flowers when you dip them. I do get the question, how long do you wait before you start your balloon kiss flowers and for this painting I didn't have to wait at all because I was mindful of how much paint I did put on the canvas. Sometimes when your paint is too thick or still too fresh, too runny, um, you have to wait maybe like 15-20 minutes, let the paint set up a little bit before you start your flower, um, your uh, balloon kiss flowers. Now I'm back to the cotton ball again just making some some small flowers and <clears throat> okay let's go down for the close-up here I'm just trying to show you most of the painting and this is the upper left hand corner I'll just take it down the left hand side here and you can see what I mean about leaving some of those little clusters of cells like I did there. And 
and I'll take you over the whole painting here. Some very nice bright colors. I knew by using that reflex rose and that that yellow, I would have some nice bright flowers in there. With the dark background, that's such a nice contrast. Some places I like to string my flowers out too, as you can see. Very pretty in here. And this is the lower right hand corner. Just going to take you up to right hand side here. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't. That would really help me out. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.